Excuse me. Say yeah. Our family actually came from Mongolia. Oh yeah. Is this kid from Mongolia? This is uh yeah. He was born in Skagit Valley, but it's the national bird of Mongolia. So yeah, they were. Okay, man. Book there is a hammer snow. Ay, mana, what has us harassed? Evan, how do you support the gas station? Please, please, it's under two dollars and a coffee. If you support the gas station, you can get a lot of time. You can get a lot of money. You can get a lot of money. Ochas tu cinta asli harun. Mestilah tu sahaja kasar. Tapi mina aku, tu bicara support juga. Kata tu cakap tu semua. Zai cikgu. Mana terasa tu cakap tu semua. Uh, yummy. Kaya hari tu cikgu. Mana waktu tu cakap tu semua. Tu cakap hari tu cakap tu semua. Yum yum, kau yang cerdik tu. Ya, bagi air putera syarat tu. Bukti mesti diri tu. No, they don't come back to us. So we use positive reinforcement. And then do you guys get on a scale every day? You should never get on a scale every day. But our raptors do. When we need to see what their weight is, we'll get on their scale. And we'll weigh them before we fly them. Because they have to be at a flight weight. Now he's eating. And here's the thing, guys. I'm a vegetarian. I haven't even eaten in 25 years. But I hunt and work with raptors. I also did go to the Evergreen State College. So go, little uh, hippies. Go, gooey ducks. Siphon high, siphon low, swirl all about, let it all hang out. We have the best fight song, guys, if you want to check out. Look at him. So look how parrot-like he is, guys. Through DNA testing, falcons are thought to be more closely related to parrots than other raptors, too. So look at him. Very, very parrot-like, which is pretty cool. Oh, there it goes. Perfect job! I see something on the backpack right there. Do you think birds can wear backpacks? No. No? no. Yes. Okay, watch this. He is wearing a backpack. <gasps> it's not glued or sewed to him. This is actually tailor made. We tailored it and uh, sewed it onto itself. It's a ribbon system. It actually just sits on his body. He's been wearing it for about six, seven years. No issues. It comes yeah, over his shoulder, crosses his keel bone, and then comes back to this plastic piece. And we crimped it and glued it. So we actually tailored it like a little tailor, basically. And this is why you have a sponsorship Tanya season uh, 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 reason in falconry. So you have to have someone help teach you these things. So this is where we attach GPS trackers when we fly him. So next time you guys are looking at your phone, your parents are looking at their phone for direction. Remember, we can put direction, we can put a GPS tracker on our birds. But that long story short is you guys could grow up to be ornithologists, people that study birds. With the right permits, you trap wild birds and you put backpacks on them. And instead of this plastic piece, that's where the transmitter is and it even has solar panels these days. So tiny little solar panels. So when the birds fly around, they recharge. So now you guys know birds can wear backpacks just like you. 
to it. Perfect answer. Yep. So this is the Saker Falcon, second largest falcon in the world. 200. Does anyone know the fastest falcon in the world? Peregrine Falcon would be the first. Yeah. 240 miles an hour. So each group is very fast. But the thing is, these guys like to chase. So that's why they were so popular in the Middle Ages. You are seeing a bird that uh, knights during the Middle Ages flew. This was the preferred by, uh, bird for knights in the Middle Ages. And that's when falconry was at its heyday, guys. Falconry was so popular in the Middle Ages. So now with him though, do you guys want to meet another falcon? Yeah. All right, so we're going to put him back real quick. Yeah. Sorry. Excuse me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Say yeah. Our family was looking from Mongolia. Oh, yeah. Is this... Kid from Mongolia? Yeah, this is, uh, yeah, he was born in Skagit Valley, but it's the national bird of Mongolia. Oh. So, yeah, they were. And, um, like, she, um, they were very nice. She's, like, jumping the site. Oh, that's awesome. Uh, you want to feed? Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, this is, yeah, Benedict. How, um, how did you how did you guys bring it here? So he was born in captivity. So he was uh, born here in Washington State. Uh, so he has, if you notice, he has a permanent band, uh -huh. a steel band that was put on about eight days old. Uh, so he was in a breeding project, basically. Oh, so see. probably like a great, great, great grandparent mm -hmm. was uh, imported in. I so, see. Yeah. I got you. Yeah. And so he's a, he's a medium-sized male, for sure close to a kopi. So his beak is starting to get a little long. We're gonna basically wrap him up like a burrito and we'll trim his, ta his beak ah, just like you trim your nails. What was it? What? Oh, no, 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 and that helps her triangulate on sound. She can. Okay, guys, let's go. 
Let's go guys! But how was Friday? Good. Good. That's great. So good. good. Yeah, now let's go home. You mean Takes maybe 15 minutes. You mean we're going to eat brownies?